All righty. So week one is done for 72% of you. So what that means is 28% of you didn't get it done. And I want you all to get it done. As an instructor, we want to see every student succeed. As a student, I'm guessing this, you're enrolled in this class for a reason and you want to succeed. Succeed? No, you don't want to. Yeah, you want to succeed. So here's the deal. I'm proud of the 72% of you who got this done. I know that my week one assignments can be a little challenging. And you may wonder, you may have thought as you work through this first week, why in the world, if I'm learning to code, do I need to learn all of this other setup, local, command line, Git, GitHub? Why do I need to learn this? Okay, here's why. Through my travels, both in my professional communities um, here locally in the tech tech communities, I do national stuff. Not as much as I used to. I've done it for years, but I've kind of slowed down. I, I've done community work for Google building tech communities, not just locally, but around the world. And in that travels, I often have conversations with people that are professionals. And I ask them and I tell them, here's what I make students do week one. And there's a few eyebrows, I'm not going to lie, but most of them say, good. It's a good thing. It is a basic skill that anyone will benefit from. Okay. So I just want you to know if you've struggled a little bit with getting that setup of your local environment done, it's okay. The key is, as I said in my week one, welcome to the semester for all of my students, just be willing to get help. Now that help can be challenging depending on when you're working on things. And as just, and you may think, Rio, you're just being a teacher. This is true, I am. But this is the reason I suggest working ahead of due dates. Because honestly, and you know, hopefully you'll get this from here forward, the sooner you work on something, if you run into an issue, the more time you're going to have to get help. The other benefit of working ahead is if I see something in your submission, I can give you feedback and you can fix it. Okay. So at the end of week one, right, actually I had already, I record, I had already released week two. I recorded that before the start of the semester and I released week three. So where you can work ahead, it's great to do that for yourself and for me, honestly, because then I can, you can ask me questions about maybe something I didn't, uh, wasn't clear about. Because here's the other thing I want you to know. In this particular semester, I am recording all new content and creating mostly all new assignments for this class, JavaScript. Okay, last semester, I created all new content for my Python class and because I teach both Python and JavaScript. And there's some of you that are taking my CIT 82 and uh, one of my programming classes at the same time. And I'm just going to tell you, that's not what we intended. <laughs> you know, what we intended when we sequenced the classes was that you would take 82 and then maybe take 83 uh, or sorry, 93 after a programming class. Um, and Python is an elective in this degree path. And you might have chosen, and here's the deal, you don't really look at that sequencing. What you look at is what do we offer? So, and I totally understand that. Like you, and as a student, you just look at what we offer and you're like, this is what I'm going to take. So I get it. I just want you to know that if, and, and I don't, and I'm not saying you have to only take 82 and then take 93. All I'm saying is I want you to know the intention when I set up this course in the way that it's set up is that you would have had some other class that helped you get some of those basic skills. But if not, you're going to acquire them week one. And I think I said that already in some of the video. Okay. So just know that that's true and know that I grade every day, but um, if not, but 
And I look for, and I starting in this week, I give you a video just for how I want you to submit your code along. So that's the other thing is understanding. So the code along work is that you're following Andrew, you're coding along. It's really just about you acquiring the concepts and some of that muscle memory and really important when he does those challenges. And I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again, is when he gives you a challenge, you really stop and challenge yourself before looking at his solution video. And I follow this pattern too, all the way through on the learn together. Okay. Because this is an important part. I'm trying to help you understand the culture of developing coding, whatever you want to call it, is that yes, you can find code examples online. There's a bunch of them. Some of them not so good in far as way uh, uh, as far in the way as modern JavaScript, I will tell you. Um, but it's easy to look at that. It is more challenging to write that with your own understanding of the language. And one of the things when you're trying to learn a programming language, you're actually trying to learn the way it thinks. And then you're trying to take the concepts. Let's say you're trying to create something three times a semester, you're going to create a, a, a code. And, me, and I'm hesitating here a little bit because on the first one, we're doing a command line, but in the second and the third one, these are in the browser because JavaScript really is the programming language of the web. So I don't want to call them full blown apps, although they are right. But what we think of apps and really what, so terminology can throw off. The important thing is you're going to write some code on your own, right? That works hopefully, and that you're going to come in with me and do a code review. Now, this is hitting you in week six, so we have a little ways, so I'll be talking about it as we move closer. But in general, right, what you're doing is coming in, uh, you're going over your code with me that you've written. I, I'm going to give you a list of requirements. I'll probably start talking about those starting next week in attendance, right? And and then I will ask you questions to see how well you understood that concept. But the idea is that you write it on your own. Well, if you haven't done the challenges both with Andrew and with our learn togethers, doing that is going to feel like a mountain. And I want it to feel like a good challenge, but not a mountain. Well, it depends on which mountain and how, okay, I won't digress into that. So that's what I want you to know. Uh, about just working ahead. The content for this semester is new. Um, JavaScript is a great time to learn JavaScript. Uh, the two most popular programming languages I'm teaching right now. So I'm having to context switch between them as well. And sometimes yeah, I don't do a great job and I have to stop and think about it. So like anything, the more you work on something, the better it's going to get. Okay, so as we, so in attendance, right? So right now in attendance, you're watching this, right? It's not counted towards your grade. It's a way that I uh, do reporting to the campus to see if you were in this week. So as we move out of week one and into week two, um, you know, I will take off the ability to reply to week one attendance. I'll open up week two here in a little bit. You'll have until next Friday to reply. Uh, again, the idea is for you. And then what I look for when you reply is, did you watch the whole thing? Did you have a comment about any of this that you wanted to make? Did, you know, but did you consume all this content? And I get it. You know, you, uh, many of you, some of you, I don't know how many of you are used to more shorter, more concise one minute TikTok as an example videos, right? That's not me. It's not who I am. I do try to focus. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay. So in week two, there is a video for how I want you, because I want you to submit your code along link in GitHub differently than you did in week one. I want you to submit commits. I talk about that. Definitely watch the video for the week two code along. Monday is a holiday. So you have one more day, uh, but I would suggest don't take it unless you have to, but you know, Hey, it is a holiday. I will be off and uh, your week to learn together. In this case, it's our first learn together is basically a more involved uh, coding challenge as you're experiencing in Andrew's course. 
And the key is I'm trying to, I'm attempting to create a community of uh, folks here who understand that I need to attempt this code on my own, right? And that's what I say is attempt, I'm gonna give you, here's what I want you to accomplish, right? Attempt this on your own. And the reply, and you'll see this, is that there'll be links to other uh, students who have posted uh, and already have, I think, three out there, right? Again, thank you for working ahead. Uh, and so once you've submitted your link to your code, you know, go look at somebody else's talk about, you know, and if you do look at other people's code before you post or it changes your code, talk about that. Because in this discipline, in this profession, it's really about understanding what can you create, right? What can you do with, because looking at somebody else's code, there's nothing wrong with it. And learning how to read code and benefit from somebody else's thinking is such an important part, but you need to be able to write code on your own. And here's the deal. You have three times this semester, you're going to have to do that. Okay. Three code reviews with me that I'll start talking about again in the coming weeks. So for your week to learn together, you're going to, uh, I'm going to give you a link to the current stimulus logic for uh, what, how do you determine what the stimulus uh, check amounts will be. I'm going to have you write some code uh, to see if you can write code that does that based on everything you've learned and the code along for week three. So, um, and everything you've learned there, well, you can use, right? Uh, not everything, but a lot. You'll have everything you need in order to accomplish that. But it is a challenge, right? It is the idea of I want to give you a problem, see if you can write code to do it. Please reach out. I've talked about Discord already, but if you're not on Discord, please consider joining. Uh, I appreciate the discussion that's already been happening out on Discord, uh, which is awesome. Again, there's 28% of you that didn't get through last night's work. We want you to come with us. So in order to do that, you either just had so much happen to you that first week that you may have, and I had this, a couple students say this to me, it's like, I had so much happen this week. So I get it. Let's just get you on board because you can't do week two or any other weeks until you get that week one environment set up. So I thank you for being here. I hope this was helpful in your reply. Just let me, you know, know, like, was there something I covered that caught your attention, right? What I look for in your reply is really, did I sense from your reply that you actually watched it? Okay. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.